sorry. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm your girl R.S. Lewis, aka the Insomniac Writer, and today I have another trailer reaction. I'm looking at the trailer for Cobra Kai Season 6, Part 1. Yes, I'm hyped. If you couldn't tell, I've been following this show since Netflix bought it from, I think, YouTube, whoever, because I couldn't watch it then, but I was interested, but I was like, I'm not paying for another streaming service. But they got Netflix at it, so I've been watching it, and I'm like, heck yeah. So I'm going to shut up because I want y'all to stick around after the trailer because I'm going to talk about it. And I promise not to ramble today if I can help it. So get your chips, your dips, and all that other good stuff. I got water because I got to stay hydrated in these streets. And without further ado, let's get to it. We've been through a lot to get to this point, but now we're finally on the same page. We may have settled things in the valley, but now we have to be ready for whatever the world throws at us. The Psychai Taikai tournament is coming. Now is not the time to push out. You're gonna fight the best in the world. Do I wanna know what that's for? Training, Rocky Ford style, gonna chop down a tree carried through the snow. Now what could possibly go wrong? No! no matter what life throws at you, you gotta stay on your feet. Our strength is we teach both styles equally. Don't jeopardize that balance, man. Since when do I run shit by you? Since we have no idea what we're up against. Only through pain does the champion reveal himself. Yes, Sensei! It's one thing to be the best in town, it's another to be the best in the world. It just means I'm gonna have to be Ragi again. I thought you were Miyagi Do now. You think things are better because now I'm training in your dad's backyard? I think we have our strongest team. I think they can handle anything. Fist, don't you know I know karate? What's that? Miyagi-san buried secrets for a reason. If we open, anything is possible. Okay, so that was the trailer for Cobra Kai Season 6. And man, oh man, I am excited. So I'm just going to pull up a few of the casts that I think that are returning for uh, Season 6. And I'm not going to go through them all. We got, obviously, uh, Daniel LaRusso is played by Ralph Macchio, William Zabka, Johnny Lawrence. I, I had a crush on him when the first one came out. I just wanted to say that. Because I had to get that off my chest. Yeah, it's been a while. <laughs> we have Zolo Mariduena. I think I said that right. I was struggling when I did the Blue Beetle teaser, uh, trailer reaction. But I'm, I'm working on it. He's Miguel. Tanner Buchanan, who's Robbie Keane. Jacob Bertrand, he's Eli Moskowitz. Oh, he got this mohawk back. Peyton List is Tori. She get on my damn nerves, yo. I understand her situation, you know. I've had to pull it up by the bootstraps. I'm still pulling it up by the bootstraps. I still, you know, I'm in the struggle. But I'm not trying not to be an asshole. And don't get me wrong, sometimes it's justified. Because I feel like if you just listen. That's what the show is always somebody act without listening. It, that, that drives me crazy. Communication would just solve 90% of the stuff that goes down on this show. Moving along, we got Mary Mooser, <laughs> Samantha LaRusso, Courtney Hengen Hengler, Martin Cove, Gianni DeCenzo, he's one of my favorite characters, Griffin Santo Pietro, Thomas Ian Griffin, like back in the day, I had a crush on him too. The ponytail, ooh. <laughs> and then he was in that movie Vampires, and I was like, I'm sorry, I just, 
Should have been a red flag at the time. <laughs> I like the bad ones. I'm working on it. No, I'm not. Bruh. Yes, I am. I'm trying. <laughs> we have Joey Sale uh, as he's Kyler. Oh my God, I love him. Dude, he had the best line in the trailer. <laughs> I'm thinking Paul Walter Hauser uh, might be coming back. He's had some dramatic weight changes lately, but he's got some movies coming out. Chris Farley, I think he was supposed to be playing him. I think so. So I don't know if that's filming or what's going on with that. I know Chosen is coming back. That's my guy. Yuji Okamoto is definitely coming back. Khalil Everidge is Chris. I think I saw him in there. So many people in this show that hopefully... Yeah. Because I'm loving... I, I really just love this show. It's, it's, it's funny. It's entertaining. You know, it's definitely... Kick ass. We did get a bit of a delay in release, obviously, but um, we're getting the first half of season six. We're going to break it. I think it's going to be 15 episodes altogether. So it might be three parts. I don't know. Netflix does this weird stuff now. They did that with Stranger Things. You get like five episodes and you got to wait. But I think the wait between the first two isn't going to be as long. This is going to premiere July 18th. So in a, not long. Not long. They they took a while to drop this trailer. Then November 28th, we're getting part two. And then sometime next year, we're getting part three. So maybe January, February. Heaven forbid, knock on wood, nothing happens. So I am definitely looking forward to this especially because you got johnny daniel and you got chosen running the dojo together and their fighting styles are kind of different and i mean chosen and daniel larusso kind of are closer because they're a little bit more disciplined in their training and whatnot whereas johnny's just my man throwing beer <laughs> I guess he's like, what's the name from uh, Dodgeball? If you could dodge a wrench, you could dodge a ball. If you could dodge a bottle of beer, you could dodge a punch or a kick. So if you didn't see this, see last season or you haven't caught up, please do, because spoilers from here. John Kreese has escaped from jail. He faked his death. He's out here in these streets. Now he's training a whole new group of kids. I'm not sure where he's at, but all the kids are Asian, so he could be somewhere. I don't know. If he's a, a convict, even though he's dead, like, you can't just hop on a plane. Not nowadays. You need a passport to go to Canada. Before, all you needed was, like, your birth certificate or, you know, two forms. I didn't name you. Yeah. You would think that after, like, 40 years, my man would be like, oh, you know what? This ain't right. And I would have gotten away with it if it wasn't for you meddling kids. I was don't never learn. Regardless of such, he's he's out here ca causing havoc and they're about to take a part in a new challenge. Because, you know, all these last five seasons, they've been beefing with each other. It was Cobra Kai versus Daniel LaRusso and his dojo. They was fighting in the high school. My man fell off the balcony, broke his back. All types of shit. They done ransacked the house. That that episode made me mad because all y'all little fuckers would have went to jail tearing my house up like... You going to jail. You, you going, going to jail. jail. Every last one of them. Or y'all replacing everything. That's it. Is You either replace everything down to the follicles and the carpet or y'all going to jail. I don't even... I don't want my house speaking and span clean. I better not see a hair or a, a dust particle. That was just me, but whatever, you know, drama's got a drama. So, yeah, that whole thing happened, and the whole thing with Terry Silver, and it was like, wow, he had his come up. He did Crease dirty, and now Crease got him back because he had it coming. I don't care how cute and rich you are with your ponytail. My thing is, he was doing good. Crease dragged him in that bullshit. Oh, shit. Here we go again. I would be mad even more. So that's probably why he went to jail. He's like, yeah. Technically, Cobra Kai is mine. Who you think funding this operation? But whatever. And I'm wondering, what's in that box that Mr. Miyagi left? What's in the box? Not till you give me the what's box. in the fucking box? And rest in peace to Mr. Miyagi, by the way. Pat Morita, you know, and it was sad when he passed away. I loved all the Karate Kid films. They had the first original three from the trilogy. Then they had the next Karate Kid, which I thought was kind of trash. And then they had the Karate Kid that came out in the 2000s with Jackie Chan and Jaden Smith and Taraji P. Henson. So I heard on these streets that they were going to do another one. Now, Jaden Smith kind of grown, but I mean, whatever. It don't matter. He was so cute with his little braids. 
And I'm I'm wondering if they do. I'll see it. I'll check it out. Because I didn't hate it. I wasn't looking forward to it. Nobody asked for it. But I dug it. So it is what it is. What did you guys think of Cobra Kai Season 6 Part 1, the trailer? Did you like it? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Are you going to go watch it? Are you really going to watch it? Are you caught up? Leave your comments down below because of where else you're going to leave them. And before you go, make sure you like, subscribe. And hit that bell so you can be notified of other videos and stuff. Like I said, I told y'all I wasn't going to try to ramble because I was starting to get there. And I, said, I looked at the time and I said, you know what? Let me shut up right here. Anyway, guys, I'm out of here. And I'm going to leave you with this one. Be awesome. Be you. But above all else, love yourself. And I'm out. And don't be fighting people in school. Get you in school, go get an education. Don't be ramsacking people's house. Don't be fighting, doing karate. Karate ain't just for beating people up. Okay? It's more than that.